Hey everybody, Harold here from Clear Horizon Miniatures, and today I'm going to go over the newest release, the Helldivers Power Armor Zeta Squad. And the Power Armor Zeta Squad is the next evolution of the Helldiver, designed for close combat, street fighting, spaceship corridors, and uh, long-range missions. The pack is $12.99. And it comes with six suits of power armor. Now the six suits each have a unique uh, lower torso and legs. And the cast base is actually almost the exact same size of a US penny. Uh, and that way you don't have to worry about gluing them onto a base. You can simply put the uh, base material on top. Now if you want to remove them and put them on a different kind of base, it's actually pretty easy. This uh, metal is not brittle pretty malleable you can just cut them right off and you get a variety of poses from running to standing to walking and they're all dynamic so none of them are just standing there but you could easily use them for whatever pose you wanted next comes six of the torsos and these are exactly straight from the pack I haven't had a chance to clean these yet but you can see there's minimal flash and the torsos Slip right on there and they have the space for the arm on either side the space right here and that is for the heavy weapon you get three of these in every squad and you can decide whether to use them or not and a place for the head and it comes with six Helldiver helmets uh, same helmets as used on the infantry to really tie them together but they are separate heads, so you can use whatever kind of head you want. After that, we have six heads here. I actually will be uh, using my Omega Squad. And you can see right here. And what I'm going to be doing is actually cutting the heads off these and using them for some of the uh, power armor that have the helmet down. Next, you get the... Uh, Pairs of arms, you get six of the left ones, eight of the right ones, and uh, there are some options in there so you can mix them up, so even if you have uh, several squads they can not only be uh, different angles but totally different poses. And you can have, there are some really cool conversion opportunities as well. Uh, for instance, if you have our apes, you'll have extra heads. Since each uh, ape comes with three, you'll have two of these extras. They fit right on there. Right here. Or, say you bought the Clifford support drones, they come with extra backpacks, and the backpacks will actually attach right to the back here. So there's lots of spaces there. You can see here's one I've painted. I painted this as at my personal army, which is Task Force 414. And you can see the uh, guns on the back of the arms there. Pouches, the head. This one does not have the heavy weapon, but you can put it right there. I've used some decals. It's actually from Model Railroading. And uh, both arms actually have the uh, twin-linked weapon on the back of the forearm there. And just so you can see the size difference, here is a standard Omega Squad member. So it's quite, quite a bit larger, and you can see the bases are very similar size. And the Helldiver power armor, you know, it's quite a bit bigger to be uh, more advanced and a little tougher, but it's not too big, whereas they can't use all the same transporting Raven or the drop pods or the sparrow hops even. I'm sure you can, uh, some people are going to be converting them up to right on the side of that uh, sparrow hawk up there. Well, I, I appreciate you uh, watching this video, and uh, stay tuned next time. We're going to be going over the Helldiver Rat Transport. Thank you very much.